These kids are some of about 40,000 elementary, middle, and high school students living in Howard County in the state of Maryland that travel by school buses each morning and afternoon. After discharging one load, some of the buses travel empty to another pickup spot, seen here as dotted lines. Seeing a potential for optimization, county officials approached scientists at the nearby University of Maryland. The question is how you can optimally uh, connect or link these uh, routes together so that at the end you get the most efficient route for a bus for a day of operation. And then, of course, you want to have the minimum number of buses to serve uh, all of the schools. The number of factors determining utilization of school buses was enormous, from number of schools, school start times, and number of stops to drivers' salaries. Initially, we weren't able to even load the problem on a computer with 64 gigabytes of RAM. After running up to 50 different scenarios, scientists came up with a solution. Instead of using 324 buses, the new model required 20 fewer buses, which translates into a saving of about $1,200,000. Howard County official David Ramsey, speaking via Skype, says they are looking forward to testing the new model. And we'll use the information that their program um, produces, and then we will then use that as um, a tool so we can better improve the efficiencies within our operation. Scientists are still debating whether to develop their model as a standalone computer program, which other school systems could use, or to offer it as a service to customers. But they say other school authorities have already asked for presentations. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.